What's up guys, it's Juno. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Lab, episode number 89. Wow, that's actually a lot of episodes. And, uh, well, we're gonna be playing some more UU this week using this, like, water spam-ish team that we almost choked with, like, 12 times last video. But, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, look for a battle. We find one immediately, which is actually really nice. So it'll be of somebody who's actually pretty close on the ladder to me. Should be a very competitive game. Anyway, uh, he has a fire, water, grass core here, two psychic resists for that thing, which is nice. Um, he doesn't have that big of a Dragal's weakness, to be honest, because uh, he has that thing, which always helps. Um, if this is defensive Arcanine, it's not actually that big of a deal, because I theoretically should be able to sub on it and uh, just SD to victory. Um, honestly, Sharpedo looks like it has a pretty good matchup. If I can weaken Blastoise, Brig Zam, Sash, and weaken that a little bit. So I think that's going to be the plan. Um, only Rock Sleet for him is Arrow, so I'm going to lead Crook, because Crook matches up fairly well. Um, like, it's not going to do a lot, obviously, but, uh, Ridley. <laughs> Ridley too big. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and get my rocks up right here. If he wants to get his rocks up, or taunt me, so be it. Um, we're basically just replaying turn one if he taunts me, so... He does taunt, which is cool. Is he not Mega? He ain't Mega. Huh. Um, I'm going to go straight away for the knockoff then, because his attacks won't actually do that much, and, uh, like, while having rocks on my side of the field certainly hurts Entei, Entei and Crobat, um, I'm going to be able to do a lot um, to his team just by keeping up some offensive pressure. Uh, shouldn't be too bad, especially since I'm planning on sweeping with my water types. We'll see how that goes, though. Um, Gator theoretically should be able to sub up on, uh, should be able to sub up on Arcanine and, uh, just SD to victory, um, and just break some walls and stuff. That did a lot. Is Earthquake gonna kill? Um, I'm gonna Earthquake, because I don't really think I need this thing that much. I have a couple checks to Dewblade, so I'm not too worried about that thing getting out of hand. And, uh, this is really the only thing. Oh, nice. Crit. Not sure how much that one mattered. We're gonna go ahead and calculate re real quick. Um, because, you know, I'm kind of curious to see whether that one mattered. Crocodile, OU, offensive. Sure. Uh, not life orb. You are black glasses. Black glasses. Because I'm black glasses, it probably would have killed. Or wouldn't have killed, rather. Uh, so, but we're gonna check it anyways. My dog's moving around, so I apologize about it. Wow, he is not running, like, any HP. Oh, my B. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go straight away for the knockoff right here. Um, just because, you know, if he isn't, if he's like Dazzling Gleam, I should theoretically be able to live. He may also miss a Focus Blast. We'll see what he decides to do right here. I don't think this was his best play at all. Um, I think his best play was going into Roserade and just knocking me out with the Giga Drain. Um, he just goes for the energy ball. See, I will be able to live that right there. I do bring him down to his sash, which is one of the things I needed to do, which is super helpful for me. Um, and I can just go straight away for the sucker punch. You don't get sucker punched. You'd be so good if you got sucker punched, though. You would be like a better haunch crow, dare I say. Dear Game Freak, give sucker punch, please. Sincerely, Geopolitics YT. Anyway, um... We're gonna. He's probably just gonna knock me out with like a shadow ball or whatever. Um, and then I can just go into Crobat maybe and uh, knock him out. It's like it's the lesser of a few evils because I can either go into Entei and knock him out with the E speed or I can go into Crobat. But I feel like Crobat is gonna do significantly less work for me this match considering that he does have Dew Blade. Um, so I would like to keep Entei as healthy as possible. Um, to take just miscellaneous hits. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a U-turn right here. It, actually, why go for the U-turn when I can go for the Brave Blast? I'm probably gonna go for the U-turn anyway because like that's how Showdown works sometimes. But hopefully I got that in quick enough to where I can click Brave Bird, kill you. Actually, you just go straight into Dewblade. I, it's good, G, I'm taunting. Um, not like the Taunt and Smash, which is just great. Taunts and Smash are fun. Except for, for when you're playing 4 Glory and you're like versus a bad little Mac. And like you're thoroughly just dismantling him. And then, okay, did he SD? No, nah, he just gyroed and I'm dead. Great. <laughs> anyway, um, what can I do versus this? I can probably go into Gator and just sub up on him. Because most of these run like... SD Gyro Ball Sacred Sword and another move, so I should theoretically be okay versus this. Um, and also subbing gives me the advantage if it goes out into something like Roserade. Um, 
in order to try to take one of my attacks, which, you know, wouldn't be great, but I'd be fine with it to some degree. Also, I'm clearing up room for Entei to just kind of generally wall break through his team, which will be great. Um, I could crunch right here if I wanted to, but I don't think he's going to stay in, considering he's relatively set up fodder right now. He could go into arrow to sack that, which um, I kind of expect the thing to have double edge. Um, so just to just suicide and prevent defog, which is actually kind of a cool set. Used in no U-once, except for the fact it's like thoroughly outclassed by a lot of stuff. So I get a sub up right there, which is great. And I can go straight away for Zekruncherone. Is that, is that my best play? Um, actually, let me just SD. Yeah, let me SD. Um, because if he does decide to switch right here, then I get some initiative he goes for the sacred sword he will be able to break my sub but what this means is that one of the biggest checks to uh my uh sharpedo is now going to be severely weakened which is great um also that frees up dragalge a lot and uh, th see th this one reason i wish i wasn't running sub dd it's very good when you're matched up versus something like a suicune which could otherwise stop a uh, sweep from gator um but he just goes into this thing. He will be able to take me out, and I'm just going to have to live with it. Um, but I can come back in and click E-Speed with this, which is good. Um, so, you know, I, I will lose uh, Gator, which, mildly unfortunate, doesn't really do a whole lot for me for the rest of the game, except to weaken that, um, which, if it's offensive, could be... Or, if it's bulky defensive, could be a problem, but that's why I have Dragalge here. It's all good. Um, I'm just going to come back in and click E-Speed, because it is my best play. Um, if he does go out into Roserade, that's looking like a pretty easy switch into this because most of those run like spikes or T-spikes or maybe synthesis for their last move aside from like dual stab, maybe HP fire. Um, it could be spikes rest, spikes synthesis. Uh, he does end up going out into Arcanine right here, which is fine. Um, actually, if anything, that did a little bit too much. I'm just going to weaken this. I'm going to click E-speed. Um because Dragalge gets a free switch in. Uh, he goes for his own E-Speed. That is banned life orb. <laughs> Wrong item there. Um, so it looks like I am confined to just sitting here and clicking E-Speed until I run out of PP, which is fine, um, because hopefully I'll be able to take out Zam. Uh, and all I gotta do is weaken Rosary just a little bit. I'm actually gonna calc this real quick. Uh, Sharpedo ver them Jolly versus Roserade. UU offensive spiker. If he's offensive, Ice Fang will kill. If he is Spadef, Ice Fang is a roll, but I don't have rocks, which is kind of lame. Um, if he's like max physical defense, then it still does a lot. He goes into Ridley, which is fine. I'm just going to click E speed. I will be able to knock this thing out. I'm not really sure why he's making, like, not really sure why he's making this play, considering this is one of the things that can still kind of threaten. Um, Still kind of threaten Dragalge if it does have Earthquake, but you know at this point it's it's looking like a game he does end up forfeiting. That one was only eight minutes, so we're gonna go go. go ooh, ah, ah. Freaked out there for a second. We're gonna go ahead and uh, grab another one. We have one versus JC. You're not Jesus Christ. Um, he's using kind of an interesting team. Um, very trick roomy. Very very trick roomy. Uh, which I don't like at all. Doesn't actually match up very well. Like, I don't actually match up very well versus that. What is he going to lead with? He's either going to lead with Cofagrigus or this thing, I think. P2. Let me grab the duck. Quack, quack. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lead with Crook. Reason being is because I can taunt either one of those things, which is super helpful. If he does lead Mints or, uh, or this thing, then that's a problem. But he ends up leading P2, which is great, because I can taunt, knock this thing's Violite off, and make it a lot easier for me to deal with Trick Room as I get to delay the effects of it. Also, uh, Dragalge is actually a pretty good matchup versus Trick Room. Can't go for the Toxic. Got him. Um, because it can take hits from that relatively well, as long as it's not banded and locked in a knockoff. And it can take on that thing pretty well, too. Actually, it can't, because that's a nice type. Might be. Um, but I'm just going to go for the knockoff right here, which is not good for him. Knockoff is Citrus Berry, and I will outspeed this thing no matter what. I get a free Earthquake here, so lead Crook doing some work, which is very, very nice. Um, he goes for the BP weak. <laughs> not really sure what he was running Citrus Berry. Maybe he was like Belly Drum. 
Uh, does it get belly drum? Learn meta cham belly drum. That's disappointing. So I'm not really sure why he was running that. Maybe he was like sub for the motherland. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, I'm assuming an ice type attack is coming my way. So I'm just going to go straight out into Entei and click Sacred Fire. Because there's not really a whole lot of reason not to click Sacred Fire. It's like a better Scald. Uh, he goes for the Ice Punch. I eat that up. And he doesn't freeze me, which is great. I would have had to go, go for the Flare Blitz had I... Um, had I done the thing where I got frozen, which, because, you know, Flare Blitz thaw, thaws, which would be pretty nice. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, Sacred Fire here to just kind of soften some of his stuff, pick up a burn maybe. As he goes into this, um, I did 48%, no burn, which is a little disappointing, but I'm fine with clicking Sacred Fire again, um, in all honesty, because it actually really does help me out long term. Um, if I do get a burn, he will go down, um, so he can't really DD as he just goes for the Scarf Outrage, and I do get a burn right there, which is very nice, which, you know, he, I guess he, I guess he could complain about that, but it's really a coin flip, and I went two times, so odds are I'm gonna get the burn, and he does complain. Look at that. It's a 50% chance. Two tries. Jeez, I can't type. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just going to go for the Sacred Fire right here. I'm not sure if he just sent this in because it has priority, or um, if he... Yeah, he has AJ. That's cool. Anyway, uh, I'm probably going to go into... Probably going to go into Dragalge right here, because uh, Dragalge should outspeed. Um, I'm not... I'm. Because, like, this looks so Trick Roomy. And, like, Trick Room plus Scarfer. Done. That looks cool. Um, I'm just going to click Draco, though. Because I don't... I think he's going to be around 94 speed. I should be able to outspeed him. Uh, but we'll see. If I do get donked by an Ice Punch right here, that's unfortunate. But is that AV? Please tell me that's not AV. I'm going for the Sludge Bomb. Um... That's disappointing. But I have kind of weakened him to the point. Oh, yum. Yum. Uh, don't get the poison there, which is fine. Because uh, I can just sludge bomb right here. And Dragalge didn't actually do that much work. But theoretically, your boy Crook is going to come in and have a field day. Because I can EQ this. Um, yeah, I can EQ this, knock it out. Actually, knockoff is technically the better play, probably. Because uh, it gets rid of an item if something comes in. But I'm just going to EQ anyway. Because um, I don't want him getting a free switch and a panda. Because um, I think what's going to happen here is I'm going to knock him out. He's going to go into this. And uh, then I'll just make the immediate switch out into Crobat. Because even if he knocks off, I should be able to take the hit. Um, unless he's banded. Which is scary. Goes into this. Um, let's see here. I could go into Gator and just say, you know what, if he's banded, it's fine. Because um, then I get a free switch. In, he's not going to be able to kill Crobat. I'm going to go into Crobat. Because um, I can just freely Brave Bird. And then I also have Taunt on this, so I can shut down any other Trick Room shenanigans. He goes for the Drain Punch, which is fine. He is Life Orb, which is a whole lot better for me than anything else. Any other item he would try to throw at me. Um... But right now, it's looking like if I get an SD up with Gator, that this game is probably over. Because that will more than likely go down to a plus two crunch. It goes into Arabia. It's fine. You're getting taunted. Not like I needed Infiltrator anyway. Um, so this stops him from Nasty Plotting, stops him from Willow Wisping, stops him from Trick Rooming, anything like that. Which is super helpful. So he does try to go for the Wisp. He gets shut down. And... Uh, I can just go for the U-turn right here, go out into Crook, which is super helpful, then click Knock Off, and uh, pretty much be in a good position to finish this game, because I will outspeed his Pangoro, and I can just donk it with an Earthquake right quick, and things are looking good. If he does go out into P2, um, which he does, then I just U-turn out into my other Taunter, uh, which is Crook, <laughs> and... It is a lot better for me to click Taunt and click Knock Off right here. Even though P2 is insanely bulky, um, if I let him get up a Trick Room, I could potentially lose. So, uh, it's better just to click Taunt right here, even if he does click Ice Beam or whatever. 
uh, he tries to go for the top. I, I've already revealed taunt on this. I don't know what the big deal is, buddy. Um, so I'm gonna click knock off because you know it's not it's sixth gen. You click knock off. I get rid of his life orb, which is kind of nice. And I think I can just click EQ right here and ride my way to victory because I do have taunt. I've already shown taunt on bat, so I can stop any farther trick room. Things are looking great, people. Um, and he may not be trick room, he may just be very bulky offense, which would be kind of weird, because his team seems very trick roomish. He goes for the drain punch, which is fine, um, because then I can just immediately go into Crobat and threaten him, uh, which is amazing, it's very, very amazing, and, uh, because... Honestly, his best play is probably to sack this, because at least he has a very nice wall course chilling in the back, albeit very weak to taunt, but very weak to like taunt and sub and stuff like that, which I'm gonna just abuse, but <laughs> but albeit very good. So we're just gonna go for the Brave Bird right here. We'll see what he does. Uh, he is stuck in a very hard position, and I don't think there's any way I can lose this game unless I just like die and time out or my internet breaks or anything like that so but you know we'll see like things could certainly not go my way <laughs> it's happened before i'm gonna taunt him though and the goal is to sack crobat here and go into this set up a sub please be ice beam he's charge beam that's annoying um and the reason that is more annoying is because i can't just sub for free versus him which you know, whatever. Just don't get the raise this time and we're good. Um, Brave Bird is only going to do 26% as he is able to take me out with the second charge beam. Does get the boost. That worries me a little bit. Um, and I think my better play is just to go into Shark because Shark, I think, is actually weaker than Gator. And I can just go ahead, click Crunch, um, get off some damage because I believe Crunch is stronger, right? Yeah, because this is basically 160 base power, which is amazing, godlike. Um, I do get 34% off as he does go for the charge beam, which is fine. But now at this point, um, not actually too worried. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Um, is it my better play to waterfall or my better play to sub? Because I don't want him immediately going out to Cofagrigus and just punishing me for going for the waterfall. But I could still sub up, I guess, on the Willow, so it's not that big of a deal. And that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sub, and then I'm going to SD, and I'm going to take him out with a crunch. That's the plan. So, um, and there's kids, why you don't run three Pokemon that are weak to electric? <laughs> indeed, indeed, good sir. Um, but you know, I do have a resist and an immunity, so it's not that bad. So I'm just going to sub up because unless you're like quick claw, which I will actually just throw my computer out the window, window if you're quick, quick claw, uh, he goes for the wisp, which is fine. <laughs> Go ahead and get predicted friend. Uh, so I can SD to victory. Wow. Voice cracks are all over the place right now, which is a little bit disappointing, um, but it's okay. Goes for the hex. Um... Am I going to be able to knock him out with this? We're going to go ahead and check. Uh, for alligator, are you bulky swords dance? Uh, we want life orb. We want sheer force versus kofag. Are you defensive? Uh, crunch. What does crunch do? At plus two attack. Will pretty much, yeah, Will is a guaranteed KO from here. So I don't need to mess around with anything else. That is a very good game and a good one to end on. So if you guys did enjoy today's Pokemon Showdown Live, please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. I actually don't have one lined up for this. Um, we're going to do this one. Do you guys have any pets? Because, um, you know, pets are great. Brandon has a cat. I have two dogs. Um, dog master race. Anyway, uh, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.